Waiting on speaker number three, Nadine Martin. Please welcome Toastmaster DTM, Blake Smith. What epitomizes a good Toastmaster? If you're speaking, you reach out to your evaluator before you speak. I got a text yesterday from Nadine. I understand that you swapped with Will, and this is what I want to cover tomorrow. And she talked about tonality, pacing, and comfort in her speech that she was trying to get a handle on this. Well, let's talk about the speech structure first. You started with a great word picture of a little girl in St. John's. And you talked about the 60s. I knew you weren't there, so you had to be talking about someone else. Then you started talking about the Empire Windrush, the ship that had over a thousand passengers on it from Trinidad, St. Lucia, Antigua, Barbados, and then there was a picture of everyone just lining the rails. So you're starting to bring us in to the Windrush. And then we find out that these teeming hordes on the successive trips on the Empire Windrush were known as the Windrush Generation. The Windrush Generation waited up to a four mile long line just to board the ship to get to Essex. You gave us word pictures like kaleidoscope of colors and flavors and sounds. You brought us in again. And if anyone's been to the Caribbean, you know what that's like. It's, it's just a joyous lifestyle. You talked about how the Windrush generation triumphed against all odds. They had to go through what the immigrants in America had to go through. Even though it was a reading speech, you still gave us eye contact. You kept looking up. Your pacing was awesome in the speech. Your reading slowed when it was necessary, and you paused when it was required. And if we hadn't guessed you were talking about your mom, that smile you gave us as you closed, that just gave it away. It was a fantastic, personalized history lesson. We learned. You shared. Thank you so much.